Alright, welcome to Chopper Doc's Guide to Scale and Tune Part 3 of 3, the long waited installment of our three part series for Scale and Tune. This one we're going to focus on the transmission, and uh, thank God it's a lot shorter than the engine. It's actually pretty, pretty simple, so stay tuned, we'll get right to it. Before we continue, the information contained in this video is for educational purposes only. Any modifications and tuning of engines can have undesirable consequences if done improperly. Before attempting any modification, please do your own research and or consult a professional. Calibrating procedures learned in this video are done at your own risk, and any damage or liability is your own responsibility. Alright, so with the overview today, uh, first we're going to cover the theory as always, uh, so we know why we're doing this. Um, next uh, will be the shift pressure tables, the shift timing tables, and the torque management tables. It's, it's actually pretty much all we have to mess with in the transmission uh, to get it scaled properly with a change in the uh, calculations. So we'll jump right into it. It should go pretty quick. Alright, so the theory is uh, when the PCM is scaled, the resulting torque calculations must also be reduced by the scaled amount to minimize issues. Uh, basically, when we've changed everything in the ECM to uh, the new scale amount, the resulting torque calculations will, in fact, change. This will affect some of the transmission pressure tables as well as torque management settings in the transmission. All transmission tables that require adjustment are referenced by torque. Uh, anything torque related must be shifted appropriately. This does not apply to speed or other tables that do not reference torque. So basically all we're going to mess with are our torque tables and that is it. And it's very similar to what we did earlier with the uh, shifting the spark rows. It's pretty much the exact same thing and we can even use the same calculator that, uh, that I've provided in the, uh, the thread and the link um, in the bottom of the video. Alright, so for shift pressure tables, uh, we will be uh, just going into the tables found under transmission, shift pressure, and upshift. Um, so under this, you're going to find the general. Uh, under general, you're going to see normal and performance tables, and then under pressure modifiers, you see the 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4. Um, we will adjust all of these tables. Uh, don't worry about the downshift because the pressures are all the same. Alright, so jumping into the tune here, we go into the transmission uh, here. So we go ahead and click on trans. Come over to shift pressures here on uh, shift pressures tab and we're going to go ahead and click on upshift from upshift we're going to go to general and under normal and we're going to open this up and from here we're going to go ahead and close this down to something where we can uh, use our calculator so above here I have the calculator already preset <coughs> sorry set to 0.8 and this calculator again is available in the link below now you can click on that and take you to the thread where you can download this and use it yourself um, so first one uh, so zero um, Obviously, we're not moving that. Get up to uh, the first one we're going to move. Um, we see a good match would be uh, 80 to 64. So this is going to be moved down, shifted down one. So we'll start here. We're going to shift down just by Control C, Control V. And below this, I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just start kind of a little bit higher. And um, we'll go ahead and um, if if need be later, you can reduce the numbers down here if you do have issues. Um, which you may, uh, but we'll we'll just move right through the calculator from left to right, uh, moving across. So from 100 becomes 80 because that's obvious. That's 80 percent. So it should move straight over. 120 is 96. So move that straight over. And 40 doesn't really match, and 160 doesn't really match. So we can pick whichever. So I'm just going to continue on with 140. Move that one over. Is there actually the same off? Um, because we just move that to 120 and 112 is 8 off and so is 128. Uh, so it's either one. Um, 180 is 144. So just move that straight over. And we get 200 becomes 160. 220 becomes 176. So if you weren't tracking how this uh, calculator works, the greens are direct matches and then the tans are within 5. So if it's within five, it's obviously clearly the, the better match. So we just stick with those. So that was a, I believe that was 240 was when they are now we're at 200. And that just became 160, 220 was 180. And 240 is 192 or 260 is 208. Again, eight off each. So I'm gonna move 240 down to 200. It's like we did last time. 260, skip. Uh, 280, we're gonna 224. That becomes 220. 300 um, will be 240. So that's a direct match. 
320 is 256, so we'll move that straight over to 260. 340 doesn't match, and neither does 360, we'll just go ahead and move to 340, down to 280, because again, they're eight off. And 380 will, um, gets down to 300. 380 down to 300. 400 down to 320 exact. Direct match. 420 down to 336. So that's 340. <coughs> 400 and 460, 440 and 460 don't have a direct match. Or within 5, so we'll move 440. And 460 doesn't match, so we'll skip up to 480. That's 384. Pretty close. 500, we got 416, so. Wait, I accidentally moved that to the wrong row, didn't I? 460 to 380, yep. And 480 to 384. Could be either one, but we're going to stick with the direct match. So 500, this is going to get a little tricky. 500 becomes 400. 520 becomes 416. 540 doesn't have a match, so we'll just go ahead and move that down to 440. 560, same. Skip again. 580, 464. 600 is exactly 480. 620 is 496. Pretty close to 500. And finally, 640 is 512. Very close enough. And for the rest of these, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just write them out to the end. Let's we'll interpolate each one to the end, like so. The numbers all match. And there we go. So now, now we have uh, the max torque setting as it was, but now it occurs at 540 instead of 640. So we've scaled it down 20% as seen. And basically, we're going to take this table. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have a performance mode, just go ahead and just copy this over anyway. Just throw it over here because it's not going to change anything. And just paste it right in and call it good. And that takes care of the gen normal and performance tables. All right, so we left off on the uh, normal and performance. So we we'll go over the pressure modifiers and we we'll go and open up the first one. Here we go, and we have a uh, falling pressure modifier. Uh, so you, as we see, it's a little different than the last one. The 0 to 640 is the same as the other, but it's a lot less resolution here. See, as it goes by 40 instead of 20. So uh, it's actually half the resolution. However, down here, I got in the calculator built in. So um, you'll notice this one is a little more difficult because it doesn't have the tan numbers because nothing is within 5 when we change it. So 30, 40 and 32 don't exactly work for us because we can't make that 0. I'm going to drag this down a little bit so the calculator can be seen. And uh, you go up to 80 is 64. We could probably move that over, but we're going to go ahead and leave that alone on the low end. Uh, 120 to 96, that's uh, close enough to 80 for me. I'm slide that one over a little. Then we'll go ahead 160 to 128, and that's, a that's pretty close to 120. So we'll go ahead and move that one as well. And it's actually the same number, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, okay, so 200 to 160. Go ahead and move that over as well, right here. Kind of shifts, bumps over. Um, 240 to 192. It's within 8 of 200. So that's close enough. And then 280 down to um, 224. We're going to leave that alone. Uh, however, the rest of it, as you see, just goes right on out to zero. So we'll actually just leave 240 alone for now. Um, we'll get up to 560, um, well 600 here, as we see is 5 and then we have 10. And 600 comes down to 480, so we'll go ahead and move the 600 here and then we'll move down to 480. And that's where that should occur, kind of the end of the range. And then the rest of it should remain 10 because that's the end of the table and what it should be. So we'll just move that to 10 as everything shifted down. So now we have 5, 
as if it was here, now it's here, and then 10 just carries up. And that should do it for this table. And it, we're going to apply this to every other table exactly the same way, pretty much, um, just follow along. Um, but instead of actually going walking you through each one, I'm just going to assume you can use the calculator and kind of make the best guess and the best judgment. So all I'm going to do is just change a number in each one, just to show you which ones have to get changed, and that's the three there. That's it. If we look at the downshift, we'll notice that the pressures are actually all the same everywhere. So shifting them is actually not necessary. You don't have to do anything to these tables at all. Pretty nice. Um, that takes care of that. It's just less things for us to do, which is good. All right, so shift timing tables are located under the transmission shift timing and desired shift time. Stock settings are desired for shift time. These tables must be shifted appropriately. I'm going to say uh, that the timing of any transmission, um, you got to note this, is uh, limited to the servo speeds and mechanical parts of the transmission. Setting these tables lower than mechanically possible will have no effect. Um, so unless you have a shift kit in there, um, these tables really can only go so low. Um, so really, it's, this one is pretty optional. Uh, you guys can just set this across the board or however you like. A lot of folks just set this to one single number all the way across. I'm um, seeing a lot of that. It's pretty common. Um, but uh, anyway, there's a, there are only two tables. There's performance, and uh, of course, that's limited, again, to the ones um, with tow mode or if you've wired it into your PCM. Uh, but other than that, uh, this one's kind of optional, so I'm not really going to go over it. But um, you can shift it. It would be shifted if you're going for the stock settings. All right, and the last thing we'll cover is the torque management. It's uh, located under the transmission and torque management. Imagine that. Uh, torque reduction, um, and that's going to be normal and performance. Again, uh, noting what performance mode is, is that switch-based uh, thing on the dash. If you get that tow mode or it's on your uh, shifter or whatever. Um, that would be what that is. Uh, so you have to make uh, the changes as applicable. If you don't have it, just just make both the tables the same and call it a day. Uh, but other than that, uh, this is uh, the last thing we have to do, and then we just kind of then we should be good to go. All right, so we're moving over to our torque management tab now. So we can click on that. Come over here to torque reduction, and we start normal and performance. We go over and open the normal one. And we'll note that this one is the same as the last one we just did pretty much uh, the lower resolution version with the 40 um, by 40 uh, torque numbers. So we click on our calculator again. Actually drag my window down a little bit. You see my calculator. Move this up and there we go. Actually kind of line them up. There we go. Alright, so uh, we'll start with, um, on this one we're going to go ahead and start with 120 and move it down to 80 which won't make any changes, so we'll see where we're going to make a change. 160 down to 128, that would change something. Move that to there. Aha, now we have a 200 down to 160. And 240, 192. 320 down to 256, pull that close enough to 240. 360 down to 288, 400 down to 320, 440, 352 is within 12, or that's within 8, it's close enough, 480 to 384, and 16 each. 16 off either way. We'll just move the 481, 520, skip 560, 448, 600 down to 480, 640 down to 512. And those carry out anyway, so that pretty much takes care of that table. And because this particular card is now a performance table, I'm just go ahead and bring it on over here, and we'll just copy it straight in, and that's it. So that pretty much wraps up everything in the uh, transmission is that basically has something to do with a torque reference, um, which isn't much. So that's actually pretty good for us, and it makes um, 
tuning this pretty easy or scaling it down pretty simple so uh, anyway if there's uh, if you guys got questions or anything don't forget to leave them in the comments and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, call that a call that a wrap on this and uh, I'll see you out there